and welcome back. When two Boeing 737 MAX series aircraft crashed, you've got to really wonder what went wrong. We know a lot of the details, but was there one thing that doomed the 737 MAX series? I believe that Bloomberg, the news organization, might have put their finger on it in this excellent report. What they have discovered is that Boeing sold off its training division and simulators to contractors for a profit. And that one thing might have been the fatal flaw in the 737 MAX 8 crashes. Boeing pride themselves in getting pilot and engineering feedback to make their aircraft better and safer. In the case of the Boeing 777, they had an extensive in-house training program with line pilots who got to fly the new 777 and give feedback to the engineering departments who made changes to make the aircraft safer and to make it easier for line pilots to use. In fact, Boeing had a whole department looking at the human factors in flying aircraft and giving that as feedback to the engineers to change things if they had got it wrong. There's many cases of aircraft manufacturers coming up with what they think is a good idea, and it turns out not to be. The classic one is this. In fact, this is an Airbus story. When they first came up with computer-controlled fly-by-wire, they decided that the problem why airplanes crash are the pilots. So let's get the computer to take the pilots out of the loop and get the pilots just to monitor the computer. And it didn't work. The problem with that is that computers are stupid and pilots are really bad at monitoring the computer. So after some sad accidents and feedback, Airbus turned it on its head. And today, the pilot flies the plane and the computer monitors the pilot. It works. So that's an example of how pilots, engineers, and manufacturers need that symbiotic relationship to build decent aircraft. And I think Boeing with a 737 MAX series just cut corners and they've got it wrong. According to this report, back in 2013, Boeing decided to turn their training department into a profit center by selling it to subcontractors. And they opened a large training facility in Miami and other parts of the world. But this has a problem. Everything at Boeing, of course, is alphabet soup, and they called their new training program PSP, Purchased Serviced Pilots. But the Boeing training department came up with their own three letter initials and called them DBC, or Dirt Bag Contractors. I think that's quite telling. So during this whole debacle and revelations about what went wrong with the 737 MAX series, Boeing are making some admissions. I think this one 
is very telling. Boeing have admitted that they wanted to keep the 737 MAX series as simple as possible, and they didn't want to touch any part of the classic 737 airframe that was not impacted by the large, new, powerful engine change. In my humble opinion, changing these engines to these massive, very efficient, very powerful new models fundamentally changed the nature of the 737 as an aircraft. And just tweaking it a bit wasn't going to work. And how were they going to find out whether what they'd done actually was okay? Here's the point. When Boeing lost its direct feedback from its training department to its engineering department by subcontracting their simulators with line pilots now trying to fly this Keep It Simple 737 MAX series, the problems just never got back to Boeing or were ignored or were not passed on by the subcontractor who wanted to keep it simple. Turning pilot training into an outsourced for-profit business meant, in my opinion, they missed the design floors because the truth was out there.